Hello there everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and we are here today to share my perfume collection. I feel like I've done this before. I didn't go back through my videos, but I'm pretty sure I've talked about perfumes before. Uh, this is currently what I have. I have it, once I empty everything out, I'll show you the tray that I keep it on. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna share with you what I have, why I have it, what it smells like, my best description of the smell, memories attached to it, all that kind of stuff. So let's jump into it. Um, the first thing I want to mention is Chloe. This is just the Chloe Eau de Parfum from Chloe. This is a very old bottle. As you can see, it's kind of probably rusty. Um, this is one of my favorite, if not favorite perfumes ever. This was one that I bought. I didn't buy this one. This was actually given to me by a friend. She said she found it under her sink. Why was this under there? She had no idea. But she was like, don't you like this perfume? And I was like, yes. She's like, here, you could have it. I don't know where it came from and it was under my sink. I don't know. So yeah, heck yeah, I took it. Um, anyway, so Chloe was a fragrance that I kept hearing people talk about on YouTube here and there. And the way they would describe it and talk about it, I just knew I would like it. And I remember buying, not buying, I, well, remember when Sephora used to do the Sephora favorite sets like once or twice a year? And it was like a blockbuster set. It was like 60 to $70 bunch of products in it, a lot of fun brands, a lot of fun products, and now everything's in a Sephora favorite set, which I love, don't get me wrong, but they used to be only like once or twice a year. They felt more special back then. Um, anyway, one of the first ones that I bought, there was a roller ball of Chloe in there, and I lost my mind. I have never smelled anything like this. Mmm. So there are some fragrances that smell alike. Like after a while, certain things are gonna overlap and you think it's one thing and it's really something else. This smells like in its own lane. I have another Chloe perfume here that is unlike anything I've ever smelled in my whole life. This is like clean, fresh, um, crisp, girly. No, no, not girly, because girly makes me think of like sweet, uh, like a fruity sense. This is definitely floral. Um, but like fresh floral, like a fresh floral, not dated or powdery, like a light, I don't, feminine, that's the word I would describe this with, not heavy, not perfumey, not alcoholy, like it doesn't have to dry the alcohol down for you to smell what it smells like. This is a perfect freaking fragrance. Okay, it's almost perfect. The wear time on this is awful. I can douse my whole body with this stuff. The rollerball, I remember going up and down my whole arm all over my chest until it was wet with perfume. And within like an hour or two, I wouldn't be able to smell it anymore. And I, I don't know if it's just because you kind of get used to it and you don't smell it on yourself anymore, but other people smell it on you. I don't know. I wish it was a stronger scent because I wanted to, not stronger. I think it's perfect the way it is. Just the wear time I wish was, was longer. Like I want to smell it more. But oh my gosh, this smells amazing. Anytime I've sprayed this on my clothes or my jacket or whatever I'm wearing, it doesn't like smell disgusting the next day. It smells like you just sprayed it on. Like it doesn't get that weird syrupy smell. I love this so, so much. And I remember when they gave she gave me this bottle, my friend, I was like, holy crap. Um, it's really old. It smells great though. Uh, love this fragrance a lot. The second Chloe one I have here is C by Chloe. Another home run from Chloe. I think they discontinued this one though. Um, I used to buy this in the rollerball or like the little tiny sprayer, you know, the one that's like a vial. And I would never eat, same thing with Chloe. I've never purchased a full size because it's expensive. Um, and I blow through it like crazy. So I, I, I don't know, never bought one. Same with this, never purchased a full size. But one day I went to go repurchase my uh, rollerball and I couldn't find it. I was like, what the heck? I looked everywhere, uh, not only online, but in store, every store, department store, everywhere, could not find it. So I kind of started feeling like they're phasing it out. Um, I think they actually did get rid of this perfume. They got rid of it. Uh, my boyfriend bought this for me for Christmas a couple of years ago. I still have the box. This one is a totally different scent though. This is unlike anything I've ever smelled. To me, for some reason, it smells like bubbles. I smell bubble solution when I smell this. It's very, very unique. Um, I don't know if it's floral or fruity or powdery or spicy. It's definitely in a lane all its own. I have no idea what this is. It's just amazing. 
a very unique scent, very strong. This one does last on me all day. Um, I do only use like not even a whole spray of this. Like seriously, like if I could spray it halfway, I will kind of dab it between my wrists. It'll last all day long. Um, I absolutely love the smell of this. This one has a very strong, crazy lasting power. I don't know why Chloe doesn't, but see why Chloe does. Uh, this is a discontinued fragrance, but oh my gosh, I'm going to savor it as long as I have it and I will save the bottle. Um, another discontinued fragrance is the Cool Water uh, Summer Fizz. I love cool water. I love the way cool water smells. And I don't think anyone ever talks about it. Nobody wears it. Oh, people are wearing it because they're making it and I'm sure they're selling it. But this one came out, I don't know, seven years ago. This came out a long time ago. Um, I remember buying it during the summer. We were doing like a promotion at work for it. And I was like, oh, I'll buy that to support the little contest we were doing or something. I used probably more than half of this within the month. I was dousing myself in it. I've never smelled, before I bought this, I had never smelled cool water before. No idea how great it was. This Summer Fizz just has a tiny extra hint of citrus to it. And I absolutely love it. This also has the worst lasting power ever, not just now because it's an older uh, perfume that I have, but even when I first bought it new, no lasting power whatsoever. So I spray it on my clothes every now and then. I mean, I obviously have a little bit left, but once I use this up, I will save this bottle. Um, I looked online forever after I bought this trying to find another one and I can't find it anywhere. Plus, it would be really old if I bought it now anyway, but I love this one a lot. If you've never smelled cold water before, this is another one that the scent of this is very unique to cool water. Like I've never smelled anything like it. it. I feel like it's a very unisex kind of smell, but a little like it's not very spicy. It's very fresh, very um, rain smelling. Um, I just really like it. I, I, I like this a lot. Okay. Next one. This is from... L or Lamb by Gwen Stefani. I think she still has the Lamb line, but I think it's only eyewear or something now. I don't know. I don't know if she still has the Lamb clothing line. Um, but as far as what I see, I only see her advertise the eyewear. So I want to say she doesn't. I don't know. But anyway, this was the fragrance that she came out with years ago. It's a beautiful bottle. I went to Macy's to buy it. It's really pretty. I have the box that this came in still. I have it up there with pictures in it. Um, and it's a very, very beautiful bottle. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. The scent on this, I want to say it's not super unique, but I haven't smelled anything like it. But I wouldn't say it's like a unique. I don't know. Um, I wish I could wear this. I haven't worn it in a while, but the fragrance is strong. It doesn't smell like alcohol though. A lot of perfumes, or that I notice anyway, you spray it on, you spray it on a little tester card, you have to fan it for a while because it smells like alcohol. This doesn't smell like alcohol at all, but it is strong. It's a strong fragrance. It will last all day. Gives me a really, really bad headache. Um, anytime I had worn this, even when I first bought it, I would just have to accept that I'm gonna have a headache today, but I'm gonna smell good. But the headaches with this are more like almost a migraine headache where you can't drive, your vision is blurry. Just this one really just messes me up. It smells great. This is something I want to say it's very feminine but with a little masculine twist to it. I want to say this is very unisex but not as masculine if that makes any sense. Definitely more lighter, fruity. I can't really put, I can't pin it down either. This is, this is a very unique, I just said it wasn't unique, but I, I haven't smelled anything like it. So maybe that makes it unique. Um, not going to talk about it too much because it is a discontinued fragrance, but I don't know. It's, I, I want to say it's kind of impressive. The amount of time I've had some of these perfumes, they smell exactly the way they did the first day I bought them. They did, they aged very well. Um, uh, so there's that one. The next one in here is this little bit of sponge sugar. That's what it's called, right? Um, it just says, oh, the toilette natural spray, but I want to say it's called sponge sugar. The, oh yeah, no, it's called pink sugar. It's right here on the bottle. So this is one that I bought. And this is also one that I bought without having smelled it first because I heard someone talking about how much she loved it. And I was like, you know what? I think I would really like that. And when I bought it, it smells exactly what I thought it was going to smell like, which is cotton candy sugar but elevated. It doesn't smell like Body Fantasies uh, cotton candy. It smells like a candy factory or something. This 
a burnt sugar maybe is that what I'm thinking like brown sugar I don't know either way this is another one I blew through this bottle within just a couple of months it was it was I was using it like crazy this is a fragrance I don't know why I love it so much because it's not usually up my alley it's so sweet super sweet mmm doesn't have that alcohol smell either this is one that I love on my skin. There are some perfumes I'll spray on my clothes because I feel like it lasts a little longer. This one I prefer on my skin only. I love the way this transforms once it hits my skin. It smells like vanilla Oreo cookies, if you know what that smell is or that taste, what they'll smell like. That's what this smells like on my skin, like Oreo cookies, like the vanilla ones and maybe a little of chocolate ones. I don't know, but cookies is what I get from this. I love this so much. I used to spray this on my skin before bed. I would spray this on before bed because when I woke up, I would smell amazing like cookies. I loved it. Now it reminds me of another lifetime. Uh, definitely um, another life. But every once in a while, I'll spray it now just to kind of smell good. And I still like the way it smells. But this is one that's connected to too many different things. And it takes me right back to that time. Um... So, but yeah, it's, it's really good. If you love something super sweet, very sugary, like brown sugar, um, you would like this. I think it smells great, but it's very, uh, it, it reminds me of too many things, but I love the smell of it anyway. The next one I have in here that I don't know why I still have this because I just can't find anyone to give it to. This is one that I don't really care about anymore. It's from Burberry and it's called Body. This is an older scent too. Beautiful bottle. Look how, be how beautiful this is. This is a scent that I've smelled many, many times. To me, this reminds me, okay, this is a weird memory this brings back to me, but Mary Kay and Ashley, remember how they used to have like a whole lifestyle brand? Shampoos, conditioners, clothes, shower curtains. They had two fragrances and one of them smelled exactly like this. It was a body spray. I want to say the name of it was like cherry blossom or something. It was like Japanese something and I can't remember it like off the top of my head, but I remember the smell so well because I loved it. This smells just like that and that's why I bought this because it reminded me of that Mary Kate and Ashley one. This one is very light. It has a hint of like sweetness, kind of like the sugar taste, sugar taste, that sugary smell. This one, I actually have nothing against this one. I like the way it smells. It smells like your skin, like one that you would want to spray on your skin, um, not necessarily on the clothes. It doesn't smell too heavy or heady or perfumey. It's a very light, easygoing fragrance. Why don't I like it? Why don't I want to wear it? I don't know why. It just doesn't smell like me, I guess. I don't know. But it's a beautiful, beautiful package. Maybe that's why I keep it. I don't know. I have two roller balls. I used to have three, but I dropped one and broke it at work about two weeks ago. It fell out of my locker busted all over the floor it still smells like that at work every day I go in and I'm like broke it I couldn't believe it anyway these are from Miu Miu the one I broke at work was Miu Miu La Bleu La Bleu um I love that one I love Miu Miu fragrances so freaking much obviously I only have the roller balls or the spritzers because they're very expensive I also have the little mini bottle so this is the the way the bottle looks for this one here this is another one that I bought without smelling it because I just knew I would love it. I love Miu Miu so much just as like a design house. I love what they do. I don't own anything. I just love them. Ever since I was younger, I just have loved following them. I don't know what it was about them. Um, but anyway, they came out with their first fragrance not too, it wasn't too long ago, a couple of years ago. Um, this is the way the bottle looks. I bought this one right here. Um, it's just called Miu Miu. And I knew I would like it just because I knew I would. And when it came in the mail, I ordered it on Sephora's website the moment it went live, came in the mail and I knew it was broken because you could smell it immediately just holding the box. I was, it was so strong. Um, and my boyfriend went back to Sephora right away for me because I remember that day and I remember being super hungover. I remember that so well because this scent was making me sick. I was like, oh my God, I want to love this, but not right now. Anyway... Um, he went back to Sephora, they gave him a new one, and this is the one. I obviously have had this for a long time. Um, I feel like I use it all the time. I don't know why. Maybe just because I like the scent so much. This is a rollerball. Very spicy fragrance here. This is very, very unique. Again, 
very spicy, very strong. This one smells to me like black pepper, like all the way black pepper with like a little warm, perfumey, like warm, uh, I don't know, like a warm smell, but it's very pepper, very black pepper. Um, that's what I get from this. The one that's called Le Bleu was, or Le Bleu was the second one they came out with. And that one is a little more lighter, fresher, but pepper all the way. And then this one here called Mew Mew Twist smells a little bit different, but still Mew Mew. Like it still has that peppery, heady smell. Very strong. I can only use one spray of this if, if that um, lasts all day long. I love the smells of these. They're very, very unique, strong peppery they'll give me a monster headache if i use too much so um don't overdo it but i love the mew mew ones a lot oh and now that i have this cup here so this is the bottle can any of you guess what perfume this is anybody any guesses it's sjp nyc so this is one that i bought because i smelled it in a magazine i smelled it open in the magazine and i was like i want that so bad i looked high and low for this years ago i mean this was i want to say like 10 years ago at least um, I loved this perfume so much. I used it all the way up. The bottle just slipped right out of here, but I had to keep this because I just, I couldn't throw this away. Like, look at it. So this is where I just keep, um, the little rollerball ones. Anyway, um, I have this little travel one here. I got it at Dillard's not too long ago. It's filled with Chanel. I want to say it's Chanel Le Bleu or Le Bleu as well. Chanel Chance Le Bleu. Um, they were doing like for $15, they would fill up one of these with any perfume you wanted. But guess how they filled it up? They unscrewed the top here and then they sprayed the perfume into the bottle until it was full. And the lady, and I didn't know they were going to do that. I thought it was going to be like a travel-o where they pop it and they do the front like this or it fills up some other way. But no, they just sprayed the perfume, the tester bottle into this until it was filled up. The lady was so annoyed doing it. She had such an attitude. She's like, here, can you do it? And I was like, this is so weird. But she talked me into buying this as if she wanted me to have it. And then she hated so much that I bought it. Anyway, I went around smelling all the perfumes at Dillard's. It, I had a freaking headache in there. Uh, but this is a really nice one. Very uh, Chanel chance. Like, I think they all smell the same. Uh, it smells really good, though. Uh, but very... This one makes me... Uh, feel like um, a very professional woman would wear this. An accomplished professional woman would wear this, not a young idiot like myself. Um, but this is like a very mature scent. It doesn't smell like a mature scent. It just smells like not me. It smells like someone who wears lipstick would wear this and that's not me. But I do like the smell. Okay, I have two more things to mention. One, I have all of these Harajuku lovers perfumes. These are old, just like the L by Lamb Gwen Stefani perfume. These are really old. I smell these every couple months and I spray a couple of them here and there and they all smell exactly fine. They smell good. These are little, um, uh, so Gwen Stefani used to have this brand called Harajuku Lovers and they had all these perfumes come out. She did a few different waves of this uh, line of fragrance and they each had different little like clothing items on. I don't know. Um, and it's called, it's Love Angel, Music Baby, and G. They're all named something different. They all have a great, light, fruity, girly, easy to wear scent. Each of them very, very different. And I have all of these. These are at least 10 years old as well. They smell fine though. And then I have this, oh, I just noticed a couple of minis I want to mention. They also had a, um, um, a solid fragrance. It smells like uh, suntan lotion. I used to wear it all the time. Don't wear it anymore, any, anymore now. Um, but I've had these for a long time. I cannot bear to part with them. I will keep them forever. Um, and now that I looked over here, I have a few little mini bottles, a Miss Dior. This one kind of smells like the, uh, Chanel one. Very, very good scent. And I recognize it immediately when I smell it on someone else. I really like the smell of this, but I don't wear it very much. And then two little mini Chloe's that I just got in a gift set. Um, last one is the Chloe deodorant. Um, and I put this in here because I don't use this as deodorant. I use it as a body spray. Because to me, that's really what it is. And I, because I've never, I've worn it as a deodorant. It just feels and smells like I'm spraying a body spray that smells like Chloe under my arms. I don't really get it. It does not work as a deodorant. This has lasted 
forever. I use this all the time and I spray it everywhere on my legs, on my pants, on my shirt, my clothes, my body, everywhere. I want to say I spray it like 10 times every time I use it and it still has so much in here and I thought I was going to blow through this when I first got it. I was like, what a dumb purchase, but I've had this for a long time, a very long time. I want to say has it been a year? It hasn't been a year. I don't know what time is. Time goes by so fast. I don't pay attention, but I've had it for months and months and months, at least months and months and months. And it's nowhere near running out. I, and I love it. It smells just like Chloe. Same thing though. No lasting power whatsoever. Anyway, that is it. Oh, I forgot to show you the tray. I had everything on. I kept putting it back on. Um, so I found this tray at a thrift store. Okay, let me take everything off. It's like a thing for games, and I love it. <clears throat> it looks like this. Um, it's just how to play bridge or something. I don't know. I just love the design of this. Of course, I love the card suits, and um, just really enjoyed the way that this looks. So I bought it, and I found something to use it for, which is my perfume collection. Okay, I've been talking long enough. Those are all of my perfumes. Let me know what you think about my collection. Let me know what your thoughts are on any of these if you've used them. And let me know some things you have that are super old, but you will not get rid of. Things you love the packaging of. Um, stuff that gives you back like an old memory from just smelling it. And I would love to know your thoughts and opinions as always. That is it. Thanks for watching this video. I need some water and I'll see you later in another video. Bye.